Hey guys, it's Penguino here, and I'm gonna start off uh, with a quick tutorial here today. Uh, so, this tutorial is on this mod that I have. Uh, you'll see it in my Let's Play, in which I did record it, but for some reason my recorder was being dumb and it didn't compress for some reason. I don't know. I It might have been too long, who knows. But I would just post. I didn't do too much of it. Anyways, so let's go on to the tutorial. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna t come. Bleh, sorry, cannot speak this morning. Uh, you're gonna wanna come to this uh, web page here. It'll look just like this. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, basically, when you come here, you're gonna think, oh, I'm just gonna scroll down. And we're going to click the download button. Well, for some reason, it's not working for me. But, no, you don't want to do that. Because this, in case you have not noticed, it's for 1.2.3. But, but, he has recently released the source code and made it open source. So if you go to the very last page, scroll down, it's page 23. And if we just scroll down, could you potentially release the source code? Okay, here's the link if you want the source code, and there it is. Um, but, I'm going to show you which one to click. Because this one will be the specific one. You have to click on this for it to work. By the awesome 120 here, Tree Puncher 39 posts. Uh, it's page 23, keep that in mind, and click on the awesome 120s uh, link here, and it should bring you, it should just instantly download, which is very wonderful. So I'm just going to drag this to my desktop here, and then what you will also need is this thing here called WinRAR or any sentence of opener. I use WinRAR because it just... I just do, because that's pretty much the best way for me. Uh, so, then you can close out your browser, and you have it here. It will not have that little one in parentheses, because I have already installed this. So I'm just going to toss this, you do not have to do this. But I'm going to go and get mine from my Minecraft library here. It's not too far away. And I will show you eventually how to install all of these mods. Oh. Okay. I just had to go and get mine. Uh, I don't know how to pause the video. <laughs> well, I might know, but I'll have to look through it. Anyway, so you have it on your desktop here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here to your start menu. You want, want to open that up and you want to search in the search bar. Um run and then just click on it. and it should come up empty if you have never installed a mod before you have to type in in there in this box percents app data percents this is how I do it because then all I have to do is click type in run enter enter and that takes me straight to the folder because it remembers this so I would recommend using the run so I'm going to click OK, and you have all of this here, and you should notice a folder. This is in a folder called Roaming, and it's a hidden folder. So, they're really just bad. Okay. Well, you should see at the top or wherever in this folder, this uh, one folder called .minecraft. You're going to want to click that. This is where it holds all of your stuff, such as mods, texture packs, your saves for single player. All of that, your screenshots even. I'll show you texture packs. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, tutorials today. So, you should see this folder called bin. Click on that. You should see Minecraft. You want to click on that once and then right click, open with WinRAR Archiver. And you should come up with this. I'm going to close. Uh, make sure that you have your Minecraft game closed. Because if you do not, then you cannot mod your Minecraft. 
So after that, you're pretty much done with that. With the roaming folder, just drag that aside, open this up, and drag that aside. I'm gonna close that. And you should see in here a folder called um, Meta Inf. Delete that now. Delete it. Because you have to delete that for all mod for any mods to work. Um, keep in mind that you might want to just simply what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to force update if you already have it. That would be the best thing. I didn't because I'm stupid and forgot to. But um. Force update your Minecraft game by going to options and then force update at the main screen when you first open your Minecraft. Anyways, once you get here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete meta inf. It should be right here. And then you want to highlight all of this. I'm going to go to the bottom because there's always a little tiny open space there. You want to highlight all of this except for the dot dot and you want to drag it in and add and replace, press OK, and you're done. But I'm not going to do that because I didn't force update, and of course I have to, I cannot install it again. So, it should be done there, and if I, and yeah, this really isn't that good of a tutorial, but I'll make sure to force update next time. Um, so, I guess I will see you all later. Uh, check it out, it should have worked, and I will see you people's nature. Goodbye.